Hi, I'm Linda from paperboutique.blogspot.com and today I'll be showing you how to make this cute door organizer. I saw one of these made out of fabric and just had to recreate it in paper. The fun thing about this project is that it works for any season. You can vary the paper and make it work for any season. I added little notes, but it's big enough to add like envelopes and this is a legal size envelope so if you want to remember remind yourself to mail a letter you can just put the letters in one of the pockets also i have mine hanging on our front door and like i said it's usually filled with little notes like my to-do list or you know pick up dry cleaning or get milk or sometimes i have my entire grocery list in it and also, I want to do, before we get started, a shout out to Making Memories for inspiration on this project. And for this project, I used the Very Merry Christmas Stack by Echo Park. And I used the stickers, and then I used these cute little note cards that were included. But you could cut out any type of little notes or put yellow sticky pads in it or any type of grocery list that you want to make yourself. It's so versatile. Well, let me show you a little bit more. It, it actually has, I'm gonna remove these. It actually has the three pockets. And like I said, I did a sticker here, a sticker here, and stickers, these are all stickers from the collection. And it does have three pockets. You don't need to make all three. And I'll show you a little bit more detail on how to do that in just a minute. We'll put our cards back in. I'm making mine for a Christmas present. Well, today we're going to be using, and the one I'm going to make today is going to be using the die cuts with a view Christmas stack. And I love this stack. And I'm going to open it up and show you that it also comes with some cute, I'm hoping that most of that's in camera. It comes with some cute little cards. And you could just cut those out to put on the inside. Well, let's go ahead and get started. I'll grab some of my supplies here. The first thing you're gonna need are two sheets of paper. And I went ahead and designed mine using the Silhouette machine and I just cut a triangle and then I cut a circle out on my Silhouette machine. You could do that with your Cricut Craft Room or your Gypsy, but you don't need to even have a cutting machine. I'll just show you how to do it with a punch. First, you'll cut a piece of paper, 11 and a half, by five inches. And then you'll also cut another piece that's 11 by four and a half inches. And that's just for the mat. And you can see you wouldn't even need to use the mat. And then all I did for the circle is I used the circle punch by EK Success and it's a two and a half inch circle punch. I put it in and centered it and then just punched the circle. To do the liner or to do the mat circle, what I did is I laid my mat piece on top and then I just did, used a couple of paper clips on each side, turned it over, traced the circle and then went ahead and punched it. And like I said earlier, you could use a circle punch or you could use a circle cutter, you could use a Sizzix die or a Spellbinders die, or you could just use a compass and do that. So that's really the back piece of our door organizer. And I went ahead and glued the two pieces together. I used snail tape, but you could use glue stick or you could use wonder tape, whatever works. And I just wanted to save some time. So you've got your two pieces together and now we're gonna make the pocket. And this is so easy. You're going to take, and I'll have these measurements on my blog too. You're gonna take a piece of paper that is seven and one sixteenth inch wide by eight inches, or not eight inches, by six inches long. Then you're gonna use, I use my Martha Stewart scoreboard. I love this mini score at one inch, and then turn it over, and then score an inch from the side. Now you might notice the width of this is five inches, and I made this seven and one sixteenth, and an inch here and an inch here. You may only need to make it seven inches wide because this inside measurement now is five inches and one sixteenth. And the reason that I did that is because this paper is so thick 
when you wrap it around, I needed that extra sixteenth of an inch. And you want to have it so it doesn't bow or it's not lined up. So it's going to take maybe a little experimenting, but I found seven and a sixteenth of an inch wide works pretty well. Then you're going to turn it over and you could use um, hot glue, you could use score tape, you could use wonder tape, but what I did, and it made it super easy, is I just used transparent. I just used transparent tape, and I'll run a piece here, and then I'll also run a piece here. And you're not gonna see it because we're gonna cover up the back. So that's the first pocket. The next pocket is gonna be almost identical, except I made this one seven and an eighth inch by five inches because each layer gets a little thicker and you're gonna have to experiment. You might be able to do it seven inches or seven and an eighth, but I found two sixteenth. I scored it one inch from the edge and then one inch from this edge. Wrap it around. Same process, just go ahead and tape it down. You're not taping the bottom, just the sides. And then we have our third pocket. And you could stop here if you just wanted two pockets. We have our third pocket. Now the third pocket is a little bit different. I made it seven and three sixteenths. I'm going a sixteenth inch wider each time to compensate for the thickness. And I scored it one inch here, one inch along the, you can see it better this way, one inch here, one inch here, scored it in one inch, and then one inch from the side. Now I'm not sure if you can see these dashed lines here. But what I did where it intersects, you're gonna cut that out. Let me, let me bring in one that I've already done like that. And what I, I made a mistake here, so don't worry about that. But go ahead and just trim that corner out on both sides, okay? Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna wrap it around the front Okay, make sure it butts up against the bottom. And you're gonna turn it over and you have tape now. You're gonna tape, tape the sides down and then bring this piece up and then just put a piece of tape over here. And if it's a little bulky, you can trim off this corner and you, whoops, I bent that. You can trim off that corner. And then go ahead and tape it down securely or you could use, like I said, a heavy duty glue. And then you're finished with your pockets. But the next step is to take a piece of paper, five and an eighth by six and a fourth, and just go ahead and glue that on top. And for this, I do use a heavy duty glue, or I probably will use Wonder Tape on it. I used Wonder Tape on my, my other one. And then your project is finished. Let me turn this over. And I mentioned earlier, that it came with the cute little cutouts. And all I did was cut some of these out and rounded the corners. This wish list will be perfect. You can just slide it in. Let me show you the rest of these. You've got this little holly card, a little ornament card. I love the stockings. Oh, and I also have this card. And you can just decorate this however you want. There was another cutout in there, just Merry Christmas, I'll probably put that on, and then another cutout, and I'll, I'll probably pop dot it for some dimension. And you're actually finished. It's that quick and that easy. Well, I'd like to thank you for watching, and please visit my blog at www.paperboutique.blogspot.com or my Facebook page, Paper Boutique with Linda Kaiser for more projects and ideas. Bye-bye.